Hello all, Ruby here. Um, today I'd like to talk about a few other things in regards to power. Um, I'm approaching this as a player, as an ARC player, um, or as a Conan Exiles player, or as a Valheim player. I'm really into survival type games. And um, I feel that um, Power World is a survival game too, because it has all the um, mechanics, survival mechanics in there, um, in regards to resource gathering, building a base, all that kind of stuff. Um, I feel that Power World is a lot similar to Ark than it is to Pokemon, because even Ark actually has uh, cryopods they can use to capture dinos and store them and stuff like that, and deploy them on the fly. Um, Ark even has a Pokemon mod also to begin with. Now, um, I know the devs released their roadmap in regards to um, things they want to bring in Super World, like new more pals, crossplay, raids, and stuff like that. But there are a few other things that they did not mention that I think will help improve the quality of Power World in regards to its content itself. Now, the first biggest thing I like to talk about is in regards to crossplay. Uh, they did say that they're going to work on crossplay between Xbox and Steam versions of the game, but they also did not mention cross save. The reason why this is important is for those players who game on both platforms, both both on Xbox and on Steam, because of their friends on either platforms. Cross save will be very important because they're able to carry their saves from one platform to the next without having to start over. Now, one other thing that um, the previous game, Craftopia, also had was the ability for a player to join someone else, someone else's gaming session with their existing character without having to create a new one. Now. Um, in Craftopia, he had some caveats to it. Um, the player, their existing character that they bring into someone else's world, can, will only have their progress in regards to the levels, their abilities, what they have equipped, and what they have in their inventory and stuff like that. Um, I think that's important because right now, as it's currently implemented in the game, if I were to join a friend's um, session or their gaming session, I'll literally have to start all over again. And so this is more of like a convenience type feature, but I think it's equally important, especially since the previous game Craftopia had this feature to begin with. Now the second thing I also like to see in Power World, um, even though the developer briefly mentioned this in their roadmap, is um, improved improving the building system. Now, coming from Ark or Conan Exiles, you notice that the building tiles in Power World has a lot to be desired. It's very limited. What I mean by that is in regards to not just the building blocks in terms of material. Right now in Power World, we only have wood, stone, and metal. Um, in games like Ark, you ha we have Tatch, we have wood, we have stone, we have Adobe, um, we have metal, we even have tech, and stuff like that. And it's the same in other survival games where there are more building uh, tiles made out of different materials in the game. Now, not just that too, but there are also important building pieces that are missing. And if you go on a PAL subreddit, you notice that players are making do or substituting those pieces for other in game items. For instance, Power World doesn't have pillars of any sort. I've seen people in, on Reddit in Power World using stools to make pillars. Um, in Power World, we do not have any form of rail system. Um, people have been using benches. I've used benches myself. Um, there are no quarter panels. Um, the triangle panels we have in the game right now is limited. And this is where I hope they also not just bring more tiles into the game. We, we don't want to have any greenhouse or glass type tiles in the game. Uh, Minecraft has that, Ark has that. Um, but not just that though, the snapping system in the game is also pretty limited. Uh, what I mean by that is that, uh, okay, let's take the triangle pieces for instance. The triangle pieces can only be slotted upright. Um, in Ark and other survival games, the triangle pieces can be slotted upside down, creating new 
build options you have for instance one of the most popular build um, type that players like is using what we call an A-frame in order to do that you need triangle pieces that can be slid upright but also upside down too so it's stuff like that that I, um, I hope the developers consider adding into power wall because I think it will be very important to the game itself um, improved snapping points um, quarter panels triangle panels for like foundations ceilings and stuff like that um, sloped ceilings sloped tiles you know stuff like that um, variances to staircases stuff like that now uh, with that said uh, one of the other activities empowered right now is dungeon delving going into dungeons and stuff like that um, I primarily go into dungeons and advise people to go into dungeons for resource gathering um, especially in the early game um, the nodes in the dungeons are, um, I call them rich ores because they hold more ore quantity. Like when you're looking for plat plat um, platinum, looking for metal, you're looking for um, stuff like that. Now, um, apart from getting new piles and dungeons, you also have chests you can get. And now you can get different items from chests from schematics. And stuff like that but the main issue with the dungeons right now in power world is that the layouts is very limited uh, so far I've only counted about four different layouts in dungeons which kind of makes dungeons um, get old very quickly uh, one of the things I'm hoping for is either they add um, more handcrafted layouts or they introduce a form of um, um, uh, um, generation to the dungeons themselves when specific dungeon tiles are, are procedurally generated and that's just to add a little bit more flair and variety to the dungeons themselves um, with that uh, dungeons will become monotonous after a while or very quickly it won't be a one size fits all type stuff or you've, you've gone there a few times and you've seen all the different options the dungeons has um, so I think that will help now, uh, one of the, one of the other activities in the game is um, raiding um, camps, where you have raiders that have captured specific piles. You go in there, you beat the raiders, you free the piles, stuff like that. Now, that activity or that overall activity is good. is all good. It's all good. The only issue there is that that is the only open world activity in the game right now. Uh, one of the things I'm hoping that developers do is to add uh, varying open world events in the game um, not just the rescue piles on camps just different varying activities it'll help make the world feel a lot more alive um, as opposed to its current state where the world feels kind of static and dull um, it'll also encourage players to explore more to find different open world events. Um, it'll also introduce excitement to finding a new event you've, ne you've never encountered before. And so um, that would definitely be a good addition to the game. Now, um, the fifth thing I like the devs to introduce in the game is visible saddles. And so in the game right now, in order to mount pals, you have to craft saddles. The only issue there is that when you craft the saddles, you actually kind of visually see them on the mount on the piles themselves. Um, if you look at games like Ark, for instance, when you craft saddles, you can actually see the saddles on the dinos. Not only can you see the saddles on the dinos, you can also apply cosmetic items to the saddles to give it a varying look. You can also paint the saddles um, to give it a, a different color scheme. Um, so those are kind of things I like them to add. Um, to piles, it just it just makes the whole stuff feel a lot better when you're crafting saddles on the piles, and you can actually see the saddle types compared to right now when you cannot see the saddles. It's it's just you just hogging or climbing the um, the piles themselves. Now the sixth item, um, when um, the sixth thing I like the devs to consider adding to the game is more cosmetic items and right now as you can see my character sitting down um, I'm equipped I have equipped a cosmetic item which is the um, um, Panking hat now the reason as to why I like wearing this is because 
Um, I like looking a little bit different from everyone else just running around wearing the same type of armor. Um, everyone, no, even though the character creator allows you to create a unique character, the armor sets in the game right now because there are not a lot of um, cosmetic items. Everybody just runs around in the same pile armor or the same cold or heat resistant armor looking the same. Um, one of the things they can do to help alleviate that very quickly is to add the ability to color the our armor pieces. Uh, when people can go in and customize the armor pieces to a certain degree by um, introducing color regions and stuff like that. Um, Arc has that for instance where their color regions are armor pieces, but not just that though. Arc also has cosmetic items that you can apply on top of an existing armor piece. Because right now in the game, the helmet I have on, I literally have to equip this cosmetic item. But the stats in this cosmetic item is inferior to my actual armor piece itself. Like you can see this power metal helmet has 240 defense and gives 560 health. Wherein the cosmetic item only gives 20 defense and 60 health. And so whenever I equip this here, um, even though I'm equipping it for looks, it's also not practical at all because I'm foregoing improved stats on um, that I can have in the helmet slot. Now in games like Ark, what Ark does is that the cosmetic items you can apply on top of the existing armor piece itself. The cosmetic items does not have any attributes or armor values or anything. No, it's just a skin that you apply on existing armor pieces. So you can still get the benefits of your armor piece with a customized look of the skin applied to the armor piece itself. So that's one of the things I'm hoping they add to the game. It's going to help players feel unique in their own way when um, they can add color regions to the armor pieces. They can add um, cosmetic items that, that are like skins that you can apply on existing armor pieces. And they can even go further when they can they will allow they can allow you to actually color or introduce color regions to these cosmetic items too. That would be perfect. Now, the last thing I want to I, I want to talk about is also in regards to adding more pals to the game. Now they did say they were going to add more pals to the game. Now the only thing here is that uh, even though they added more pals to the game, I'm hoping that they can add more very more element comp combinations and power type combinations um, to the game itself. So for instance, you notice that with certain piles that have elemental attributes like neutral, grass, fire, water, electric, stuff like that, you also have um, piles that have dual element types like water, ice, stuff like that. Now what are well, grass and ground, dark and dragon, stuff like that. Now what I'm hoping for here is that the setting combination types that are completely missing from the game right now. For instance, um, there is no electric ground type power in the game. Or there is no dragon electric. Oh wait, no, there is a dragon electric. Um, there is no neutral dragon type um, power in the game. Stuff like that. Um, or ground electric type um, power in the game. Those kind of combinations are missing. And, um, and I hope that even though they add more piles to the game, they add those um, those piles come with missing elemental combinations that we currently do not have in the game right now. Now, the reason as to why I say this is because when you're building or when you're putting your party together, um, a lot of players, and it's, it's advisable to do that to account for combinations in the game, elemental combinations and stuff like that. But when you're building your party or your power party there's certain holes that's still missing where you cannot cover in the, in the entire spectrum to account for any encounter that you that you have so with them adding more piles if they can add more elemental combination or type elemental combinations for those piles in the game it'll help cover those missing gaps when you're setting up your power party and stuff like that so but that's it though, that's my, it's not really a rant per se, it's just stuff that stuff that I hope that they add to the game. So the first one is improve um, cross, not just crossplay, but also cross save uh, between Xbox and Steam versions of the game. Uh, the second one is improve more building tiles, improved snapping 
um, options um, to the building tiles itself and also material types for the building like we do not have any glass type or greenhouse type um, tiles in the game we don't have anything like touch type tiles in the game stuff like that we do not have um, pieces like pillars upside down triangles for improved snapping and stuff like that um, quarter sections triangle type based foundations or walls and stuff like that you see what I'm saying uh, the third one is improved dungeon layouts either using procedurally generated dungeons or um, added more handcrafted dungeon layouts um, the fourth one is a very walled events so not just the um, rescue the power from the abandoned camp type events but more open world events even games like this they have varying open world events um, and adding that will help improve the overworld itself or the activity in overworld that players can get excited for um, another one I mentioned was in regards to having visible saddles that can also be customized with color regions and cosmetics for those saddles basically when you craft a saddle for a pal let us be able to see those, the saddle you crafted on the pal itself um, it helps with immersion in the game um, Again, more cosmetic items in regards to armor sets, um, being, giving us color regions for armor, but also color regions for the cosmetic items itself, make the cosmetic items more like skins that you can apply on the armor pieces itself. And the last point I made um, in, the entire, in this entire video is in regards to when adding more pals like they promised in the roadmap to add missing elemental and type combinations that are currently not in the game. And that's it. Well, um, you guys let me know what your thoughts are in regards to things I'm hoping that the devs add um, in the comments. Add what you think is missing in the game that they can add to the game to help improve the, the quality of Power Wall itself. Um, the game itself has a lot of potential and I'm hoping that they add more things to the game because it would really help. And so with that, that's about it. And so... Um, I'll say um, bye guys and Ruby out.